Nice game, and today I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different for the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a let's build in Space Engineers. So let's go ahead and hop back into our character. Boom! All right. So just heading out to the uh, to the building platform. Uh, you can see I have a few miners sitting around. Don't don't worry about those. Okay. So first thing, what are we building? We're gonna be building a miner. Uh, if it, it wasn't obvious from the uh, the ships I have here. So, the first question I have to ask when I'm building a miner is how big do I want the miner to be? Okay, do I want it to be this big expansive thing over here uh, with all the different connectors and ports for connecting almost any different direction I want? Uh, do I want it to be something super small over here? Basically just a remake of Splitsy's, uh, how to make, how to turn your pod into a miner. Or do I want something in the middle, like, uh, like his Butterball, or, uh, this thing over here. Um, the, the six-armed monstrosity over here. So, I kind of decided to go with something a little bit between the little miner and the Butterball. I, I think it's approximately the same capacity as the Butterball, maybe a little bit less. Um, but the idea is, as soon as you have some sort of stable mining operation going, this is the next upgrade. Like, this is a major upgrade uh, in terms of capacity, in terms of mining speed. So, I kind of want to do something between these two so that it's not too expensive uh, to, to get together. It doesn't require too much cobalt for the metal grids. And you can kind of get it together fairly quickly. So, uh, these over here are the prototypes I have. Uh, this over here was the first one, just, you know, slapped together, see, what it, uh, see how it works. And I found out after doing the calculations that it didn't have enough batteries on it. So for the next one, I added more batteries and uh, decided to, yeah, to check it out, see how it worked. And it turns out that this one is way overpowered in terms of lifting capacity. Two large atmospheric thrusters is way too much. And when I tested it, uh, one with four small atmospheric thrusters seemed to be about right for this configuration. But I couldn't quite figure out how to make it look good, so I decided to go away from that and just add another cargo container. Uh, these two are more like inline modifications. I didn't actually change anything about uh, the basic configuration, just how the components were arranged. So on this one, uh, you can see I have you know, the programmable block, I was thinking of maybe doing some uh, uh, drone work with this. Um, got, a little radio, got a little antenna down here for kind of the same purpose, but I decided against that just because I'm trying to build this for someone who's just starting out in Space Engineers. Um, this one over here is what I'm going to be building today. Um, it's pretty agile, even with full load, like Right now it's actually, you can see in the inventory, fully loaded with stone. And it's maneuverable. You're not going to be going very fast, which you really don't want to when you're near your base. Uh, go too fast, you're probably going to crash and uh, break something. Uh, either on the ship or on your base. So, kind of want to avoid that. Um, so, the basic configuration two drills up front, cockpit, two cargo, two medium cargo containers with two more on the sides, two, two batteries on the sides, one battery on the back, two large atmospheric thrusters. So I already have the uh, small connector, uh, small rotor head. I 
attached, so let's go ahead and get building. So first off, I started with the medium cargo container. Just in the middle right there. And then from here, I set up symmetry. So to do that, you hit M, and then you hit, and then you click to actually set it. Then just hit N twice, and you will be seeing your symmetry in place. Let's go ahead and drop our two side cargo containers, and the one on the back. Cool. All right, next we need our batteries. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one like so, I believe, so that I can actually see those lights on top. And then we're gonna put this one like that. So it's right side up. Okay, as for the cockpit, we are going with the fighter cockpit. The reason for the fighter cockpit is because it has this large conveyor port on the back, which lines up neatly with the medium cargo container's large conveyor port. Uh, it also does have the all-important uh, small conveyor port in the front so that we can attach, if I can get the right connector or the right conveyor, boom, so we can attach one of those and then put our drills on, like so. So now that we have most of the basic components, let's grab our thrusters. Where did I put my? There we go. Okay, so let's grab our large atmospheric thrusters. And I'm kind of debating do I want them there or do I want them further back? I think I actually want them a bit further back. So I'm going to grab a light armor block to use as a spacer. And let's see if I can connect it up to that. No. Okay, so I need a little more. A little more of a spacer. Cool. No big. Uh, the reason I'm thinking about that is just a slightly more convenient place to put uh, components instead of just on top is actually around here. Or actually, now I'm looking at it. This is a better place for the small MS and for the uh, maneuvering thrusters on the sides. Okay, sweet. That takes care of that. Alright, next up we just need our rear thrusters. So let's put them there. Uh, let's put one on top, one on the bottom. Cool. Uh, so we got four to the back, four to the sides, well, two to each side. That's fine. Uh, now we need four going forwards. And the configuration I kind of like the best is one right there, and one actually right about here. I know someone's going to ask about this. Why are you putting, uh, if I can use a block to gesture, uh, why are you putting this particular, uh, uh, why, why are you putting an atmospheric thruster with the nozzle pointed towards a block, uh, kind of an important block? Well, the reason is because uh, the damage is based on the flame length. Uh, the flame length, I, I don't know if that's the actual technical attribute in Space Engineers, but the flame length for a thruster is how far out it will damage something. And this will damage out to 0.68 meters. So it will damage this block, and it will damage this block, but it won't damage this block, giving me a whole block of room to play with for armoring when I get around to that. So, those, I think that is all the directions we need. Uh, you can, if you want, uh, this, is, uh, this is kind of a personal preference thing. I know some people say don't. Uh, you can, if you want, put a small, I'm going to put an atmospheric thruster pointed up, and what this will do is it will actually slow you down when you're ascending if you're ascending too fast. Uh, on this one over here, I actually did that because when it's empty and has three large atmospheric thrusters pointed down, it kind of goes up really fast. So, um, this one over here I found doesn't go up too uncontrollably fast, but if you absolutely need to. Uh, you can put some here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put some here, and then I'm going to uh, show you guys how to turn them off with a button. Uh, and then when we get to uh, soft, the software side of things. Alright, so this is looking like a very nice little uh, very nice little miner right now. So, next up, I think I want to put in some components.
components. So we have this line going back here. I think that's going to be our best bet to hide uh, the various components we need in order to get this thing working. So we need gyroscopes. Uh, these, I think I'm actually... Yeah. So I only need two gyroscopes. So let's go ahead and drop one there. And one there. Um, two gyroscopes was enough to turn these over here very comfortably uh, when fully loaded, so it should be enough for this design as well. We don't need an antenna, because uh, we're not doing remote control stuff. We do want a beacon, though, just in case we happen to lose this thing. Uh, let's see what else we're going to need. We're going to need a couple timer blocks. Oop, had it. There it goes, under the program or block section. And on that one over there, I hid them under here. Um, because I believe I'm going to put a connector either over here or over here. And then put an ejection system out the back. So, putting them under there, the ejection system is going to wrap around and I have to sort of block over it anyway. So, that works. And I need a programmable block as well. Uh, I did say I'm making this for uh, newer players. I... I highly recommend getting into scripting, or using scripts, I should say, as quickly as possible, because honestly, it is a, it, they're a huge help when it comes to actually using your vehicles. And just being honest, it's kind of a band-aid that I recommend ripping off, because it took me a while to get into scripting, I only got into it for, uh, this series because it was like, okay, I guess I should saw, show off some scripting, but no, it actually turned out to be really helpful, so I'm recommending starting it way sooner than I did. Okay, so we have the craft set up, ready to go. I believe we can go ahead and detach this thing. Oh. Let's go ahead and fly up so that we can get the underbelly and finish up the components over there, or under there. Alright, let's take that off. Scoot on over to uh, the ejector collector uh, connector system. Put one there. Grab a curved conveyor tube. Yeah, that's already hooked up the right way. And now, let's get our ejection system set up. Okay, so looking at this, I'm kind of thinking I might want the ejectors on the sides instead of the back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that instead. Yeah, sides instead of back. So let's go, I think, one of these, a couple of curved. By the way, this is how a uh, building goes a lot of the time. Uh, you think you're gonna start you think you're gonna do something starting out and then when you're doing it you realize you can do it a much better way okay so we got the connect conveyors there uh, don't need tubes I need sorters so let's grab one sorter two sorter three sorter and we got three more on the other side and our ejectors kind of want to orient them like that boom 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 okay so now we have six ejectors, three on either side, uh, that should easily get rid of uh, whatever stone or other materials we don't want. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, oh, I just thought of something. Uh, I'm remembering from Splitsy's um, Survival Unlikely series that when you put the ejectors kind of like this, where they're in here, they broke some stuff because the, the stone spawned inside of other objects. So, I th think I actually want to push these out one further. So, same setup, except I'm going to add these small conveyor tubes here. And then... Sorters. And then ejectors. And I'll just have to grapple around that to make it look good. Is that too... That is actually a little bit too far out for my liking. Okay. 
Um, change plans. We are not doing the ejectors on the sides. We're doing the ejectors on the back. Again, this is just how design goes. Uh, you start out doing one thing and realize something else is way better. All right. So I can do a small conveyor there. A couple of curved conveyor tubes there. I think I'm going to do the sorters here instead of at the back. Yeah, that'll work. And then, let's go ahead and do that, that. That, and... One more. Okay. Boom. Okay. Cool. So that's not actually going to get in our way uh, when we start mining and going into tunnels and things like that. Right. So I believe that that is the end of the hardware section of this. So let's go ahead and get out of there. All right. So I think this is going to turn out to be a very nice looking little miner. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like the video and want to see more chill gaming content like this, please uh, hit those subscribe notification buttons below. Also, those will make sure that you don't miss the next episode of this where we look into uh, greebling this and going over how to make your ships actually look good. Um, if, you, if you want to support the channel, uh, if you could do me a favor and leave a like on the video, that would be amazing. So, without any more pandering, Thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all later.